Welcome back to Skyward Sword HD, the hero playthrough. Hope you're enjoying. Thanks for clicking later. So, I'm gonna point this out right now. This VOD here, you're dealing with Will from the future right now because I had the mic on mute for a little bit here. More than a little bit. <laughs> I messed up. So, instead of leaving this silent because let's face it, that's gonna suck to watch later. I am dubbing my own commentary over this until, well, confirm me. Who came into chat was like, hey, you're muted. And then, yeah, it was worst case scenario. I mean, to be honest, it's not that bad. Um, not that much progress was made. And I can more or less remember what I was saying, so I'll, I'll point you in the right direction. But I hope you do understand and, you know, it's the... Uh, the rite of passage for a streamer to get this kind of technical issue at some point. It just happens, and, you know, we do our best to try to make sure it doesn't happen, but it happens. And this is certainly more interesting commentary than what I was uh, saying originally here. I was just talking about mowing the lawn and getting hearts, and, you know, that it was boring. <laughs> so, yeah, um, let's, let's get to it. Kind of weird watching myself play games, but hey. Towards this part of the game, I kind of I I know the dungeons, but it's just memory does not set me as well, which is kind of weird because you would think the most recent memory would stick, but um, my memories of Skyward Sword, they're just more aligned with the fights I enjoyed, so, yeah. I'm trying to remember what the boss for this was at the time. I mean, I obviously know now because I finished it, but I believe here I was thinking, hmm, what boss is coming here? Because I couldn't put a, uh, a monster to it. So... But, uh, as we'll see, eventually. <laughs> yeah, my strategy here was to be like, alright, let's just run around in a circle and they can't hit me. I was wrong. And then, somehow, I didn't make that jump, so... That, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was not great. It's okay. I've been practicing some, uh, some moves. So, uh, I'll, I'll talk about from the perspective of what's happening currently, because this isn't that far into the future. It's effectively the next day. So, um, not to spoil anything, but I've been practicing combat a bit more. As there is something I wish to achieve, but you'll see that later if you're watching this playthrough in chronological order. So, it's time to get good. It's also very humid here today, so I'm trying to be creative and talk about things to make it seem like, hey, this is just, just a normal stream where nothing went wrong. But you know what? It was, I, I guess this is this counts as salvage because the worst case scenario was me talking and then no audio coming out for like a full blown hour. But no. I mean, thankfully confirming noticed, so. It's twice this has happened. It happened in the spirit tracks where the capture card stopped capturing and uh, it was still, so. That was only five minutes. So I just redid everything. But this, uh, I mean, you'll see later. I, I, I kind of toss up the decision 
as to whether or not to try and load the save file and do it all again live, but um, I had saved. I probably should be reading this. No offense, pal, but you don't look like the kind of guy, blah, 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 blah. But I, what do I know? You might surprise me. So here's the deal. Word on the tunnels, there's a huge treasure hidden in these here ruins. But nobody who's ever seen it has come back to tell the tale. Countless treasure hunters have disappeared in here. Poof, gone. As a treasure hunter, I gotta warn you to just turn around and enjoy the many peaceful years of digging left to you, but... You're gonna do this no matter what, I say, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. Alright then, I'm gonna let you in on an ancient treasure hunting legend passed down among generations of mugmas. Every mugma worth a handful of dirt knows this one. Here we go. You who seek the entrance to the king's treasure, look for two statues that face one another. Show your bravery and jump into the mouth of the sleeping statue. Do this and the path shall open. You remember that and you're golden. Some of my guys are searching around here for the treasure. If you get lost, holler at one of them. Yeah, you know... I hope I pay attention to that instruction. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Ultimately, I just decided to dump this, and I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, so this is where I saved. I think I saved the second time, but that's where I was, I was like, nah, it's it's 20 minutes, I may as well just read it. Because I've been trying my hardest to get through this. As, uh, as you know, I've been playing through all the Zelda games in order. Or maybe you don't. But there's, uh, at the time of this video, there's six months, six months, six weeks left until Tears of the Kingdom. So I'm trying my hardest to, uh, get through it. Also, I messed up there. <laughs> I, I did too many attacks, ran out of stamina, and man, did I pay the price for that one. I thought this, this was going to take me a while to get through this game, but honestly, it's been going pretty smoothly. the whip would work. You just whip it back and pull it and then you get throw it. But it doesn't. This isn't so weird because this isn't a blind playthrough of Skyward Sword. I've played it before, so... There's not... There, wasn't, there aren't any really that many oh, hmm, what is going to happen here moments. Outside of what I, oh, I forgot about, but... <laughs> yep, I saw, I saw the archer and then turned around. Because I was like, hmm, I wonder if there's any more, and then as I said it... There we go. So let's talk about general stuff, because, uh... It's probably what I would have been doing anyway. But let's let's make it the day after general stuff. Um, so, you know, at the time of this recording, when I was playing this, the Mario movie, uh, was out to critics. So critics had seen it, and the score for it was, uh... 
I mean, it was around what the Sonic movie was, which it's not great, but it's not horrible, right? It was, if I remember, like, hovering in the 50s. And I, I don't really pay attention to critics. I kind of firmly believe that make up your own mind about things. Sometimes, particularly when it comes to things that have a high expectation before you go there. Um, I don't know. It's just too critical of it. Also, I was shitting bricks here. Because I was like, oh no! And got hit by the tail. These are the worst enemies for me. However, I think with my new skills, I may be getting better at this. Not, not right now, but... Kinda of hurts to watch. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Surprisingly smooth compared to the other times I've, uh, I've fought them. But yeah, uh, it's like hovering in the in the mid fifties, I think. So you know, another day has passed, and the movie has officially come out, uh, and the user score is pretty much universally positive. So there you go. I mean, maybe there's there's a bit of nostalgia in there for sure. It's kind of like the opposite problem, but I think when it comes to things that have a hype or Maybe they're a beloved franchise. I, I just find critics to be just... I, I hate to use the word, but like overcritical. Um, and I think that's the case of the Mario movie. It's just... They kind of... They don't... I don't think they appreciate the fact that this movie is, is first and foremost for kids, right? It's like... The fact that it's going to cater to an adult, they're going to do that with nostalgia and have references to things that you might remember. But the tone of the movie, the pacing, the jokes, the sense of humor, I would imagine, I mean, I'm seeing it tomorrow, is, is for kids. And I try to avoid what people are saying, but sometimes, you know, when you're browsing stuff, you'll see a few sentences and man, it was just... Someone was saying, hmm, you're better off seeing the 1993 movie. My dude, it's a kid's movie. <laughs> By the looks of it, that movie looks perfectly fine. If I was eight years old, I would not be thinking half the stuff you're thinking in terms of your critique. I wouldn't be thinking that at all. I'd be like, wow, there's Mario. There's Luigi, look. There's Peach and Donkey Kong, like, just seeing the games that I play come to life in a movie, that's all I would be thinking of. I think back to when I went to see the Pokemon movie, back in the day. I wasn't thinking anything about, like, oh, hmm, the plot in to this movie, or, like, cliches, it's just... Turn it down. <laughs> it's a kid's movie. At the end of the day, I watched that movie and I enjoyed it. I remember enjoying it. Now, if I were to were I to watch that again as an adult, would I enjoy it? Nah, I don't know. But I think the Mario movie's not like that. I think I'm, I think I'm going to enjoy it. But my critique so far of that movie has been just around Chris Pratt's voice, pretty much. And it's just one of those things that. What they showed in the trailers, specifically, it just, it didn't look like it was the voice, but I've talked about it before. It's just, who would you get to replace Chris Pratt, right, as, as the lead actor? It's kind of a hard thing to say, because ultimately it's just, well, it's not Charles. So, anyway. I'm excited to go see it. Uh, and that'll be happening tomorrow. And I might share my thoughts on it if people are interested. So I'll, I'll probably talk about that later on, on stream. As uh, by the time this VOD comes out, this is going to be well past when the movie's aired. Because the way I'm releasing these is... I try to give myself room, you know? 
Also, I'm not some sideshow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to get myself wiggle room. So, I leave a bunch of them scheduled, and then I don't have to stress about making thumbnails for a while. And that's just how I have to do it, because full-time job, right? But, you know, I appreciate people watching the VODs, and I've definitely been getting uh, more people leaving comments and getting in touch, and, you know, I love to hear from people, so... I do appreciate any kind of support people give on this uh, channel. I gotta remember to say it more often, but yeah, thank you. So watch this brilliant idea I had. Ready? Not strong enough. But I mean, yeah, the, the Mario movie is sitting pretty much the same case as the Sonic movie. Critics kind of gave it an average score, medium, whatever. And then when people went and saw it, it was it was enjoyed. And I saw that movie, I enjoyed it too, so... I think it's gonna be good. Not, a, not amazing, I'm not expecting like... Wow, that was one of the best movies I've seen... ...in terms of animation. I don't think it's gonna be that, but... ...I think it'll be enough to enjoy. So... If I've released a video <laughs> on this movie... Then hey, you know you know where it came from. It came from I was playing Skyward Sword, and then I messed up a VOD, and then I was like, okay, hey, maybe I should talk about the Mario movie. I keep, I keep chopping down grass because I, I want health. Oh yeah, no, yeah, lose the health that you just got. No, that's great. Good job. This might be the start of the, uh, the commentary that I'm going to do. I'll just start watching videos and start commentating on it. This is what this is the origin story of that. <laughs> it's a oh, director's commentary of my gameplay. I thought it was only 20 minutes, but I think it's closer to half an hour, if not 40 minutes. So, hey, I hope I'm keeping you entertained. pretty much do this right away. Oh boy. Alright. <laughs> so. I mean, this part here. I was trying to, I was trying to pick it up. That was my first thought. I'm looking around, I'm thinking, hmm, what can I do? There's a reason that's there. That was my whole thought, is there's a reason that's there. So I tried different things. I noticed there was a target on the thing. But then I thought, no way, that's just going to knock it down. It's funny because I had the idea with the whip to flick it, to impale it into the whip, but I guess it didn't, it didn't click what I'm supposed to do here. 
It does, it's just, it, it takes longer than it should have. <laughs> but, I think the first time I played this, it took even longer, so. That was two years ago. See, like, that immediately should have been the clue. Oh, I have the, I have the right idea. It's just <laughs> the wrong implementation. The right idea for implementation. I was thinking grab, I don't know why. Grab the bowl of water with the whip. <laughs> So, you know, panic sets in here, and I'm like, what have I missed? Have I gone down the wrong path? There has to be something I've forgotten. So I'm looking around the map, seeing if there's any cracks in a wall. That's the thing with Zelda games, the way that I, I approach them. Pretty much all comes from Zelda 1. It's so like, if you run into a dead end, even if it is actually a dead end, I will always look at every wall. I will poke things, I will throw bombs at walls, I will destroy things. It takes a while before I leave a dead end alone. <laughs> and that's a good thing, and a bad thing. Good in the sense that when there really is a secret, A, you find it. But when there isn't, it's just a waste of time. So, I, I gave up a little bit here. I was like, hmm, maybe the previous room has something. So, you know, I'm looking around, seeing if there's maybe a, a hook shot point or something. I notice there's one here. Which I, I found strange, but there's a reason for it later. I thought maybe blow out the torch, but nope. <laughs> that was for comedic effect. I knew I did nothing. It's a bit of a bit, but you know, the bit didn't land because no one could hear it! <laughs> ah, tragic. I was thinking, grab the bottle and when you stab the plant, to try and scoop the water. That was a train of thought I had there. I wasn't trying to scoop water from a door. <laughs> but I was preparing the bottle to have it in hand, but then... I, I realized, hmm, that's probably not gonna work. So I really went all the way back. Again, just walking around the map, seeing if there's anything that I may have missed, but... I think at this point I'm like, okay, yeah, I didn't miss anything. I... I'm thinking really hard here. I remember <laughs> I was so stumped, I was worried that it was gonna turn into just 20 minutes of me doing the wrong thing. But then it clicked. It was it was either in this room or the next room, it just suddenly clicked. I was like, I had a, a, a vague recollection. 
And so, with that vague recollection, I laughed. <laughs> and I, I go back up. Do I do it once? I think I do. No. Yeah, that. <laughs> hey! Well done, you did it. It, it didn't take that long, I just remember the first time around it did. Wow. Chop, chop. Those, uh, they look like cereal. <laughs> This is where I messed up. If I didn't save here, I would have been able to just do everything again. And I wouldn't be doing this commentary. But unfortunately, me being better safe than sorry. Nope. I had to save here. Being was its hands were making up the magma. I don't know. Hey, I was watching you. You really sucked it to those lava fingers. Amazing stuff. And if you don't mind doing one more thing while you're at it, how about you get me down from here? I'm noticing there's something underneath here. I almost went out the wrong door, but I realized. Oh, wait. Nope, it's down here. Should have worked. Oh yeah, I'm saved. I don't know who you are, or where you are from, but I owe you big time. Are you looking for the treasure too? Yep. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, you were totally ca caught up in that too, pal. I can see it on your face. You're here because of the legend of the sleeping statue, right? But those are some busted old digging mitts. You can't go using them for treasure hunting. I got it. As thanks, I'm gonna give you a replacement pair from my secret stash. Don't you go anywhere. All yours. They've been in a buried treasure chest, so they ain't nothing something. Now these ain't the kind that you can easily get your hands on just anywhere, so take good care of them. Right then, I'm out of here. So long. You know, I'm kind of surprised Fee hasn't popped up yet. <laughs> Hey pal, how are those mitts treating you? If you want to look above ground, press ZL. Got it? 
It doesn't always work, though. I thought I'd, I'd figure, hey, I don't have to talk constantly because during gameplay, there are times where I'll, I'll just be quiet and play. But this part, there's, there's not a whole lot going on here. It's just finding the tunnels. The sound effects kind of remind me of uh, Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island had a mole power as well, and it, it's pretty similar. The sound effect, that is, not, not the actual way you play it. So we're, we're approaching on the point where there'll be a voice suddenly, so I just want to say, if you've been watching up to this point and have, uh, have stuck around, thank you, <laughs> especially given the technical issue. I don't know. Hopefully this was a good substitute for me re reacting as I'm playing, right? the actual gameplay. I think I might be a bit too, too self-conscious about it, but... I just didn't want to leave this silence. So, I mean, damn, this is like YouTube-exclusive content, huh? You get to hear a special commentary track. That, if you were watching this live on Twitch, you probably would have been confused at this point, and was like, man, Will is focusing so hard right now. Much focus. Look at the focus. Never seen him like this. <laughs> okay. Let's see my attempt at drawing a heart. Oh yeah, right. The gyro, uh, did not work properly here. So, yeah, I drew nothing, but it still gave it a heart. So does that mean that hearts are empty? I don't know. Alright, I'm fully expecting my voice to come in any second now, so, uh... Yeah. Let's just let, naturally let future will fade out. And we'll let present will take over the rest of the VOD. Should happen any second now. Any second now. I'll read this. Oh uh, yeah, you've come along at the right time, pal. I don't know who you are, where you're from, but I need you right now. What I really need you right now is to get me off this chain. I'm in a hurry. I'm not asking you to do it for nothing, though. Set me free, and I'll tell you the big gigantic secret about this room. It's a secret about treasure, okay? Treasure. Oh yes. Yeah, what's this? Wario loves treasure. Yes! <laughs> My voice is healed so I can do the Wario voice again.
Is it really this long that it went without audio? Holy crap. I just remember roughly at the claw shot part, that's when... When Confirmy was like, hey, you're muted, I think, and I was... I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> it was... It wasn't a physical mute, it was a soft mute, because I have, uh... I have two ways of muting. I have... The physical button on the mixer, which cuts audio off to all sources. And then I have this thing that's audio, an audio routing thing. Which, I can selectively mute Discord, as in my mic doesn't go to Discord. Or I can mute my mic not going to the stream. And guess which one I did! <laughs> so, it was a, it was a software muting. That is the sweet, sweet flavor of freedom, Hoss. And, uh, heh <laughs> thanks for taking the trouble to free me, sucker! You really think I would divulge super secret info about treasure? My mama didn't raise no patsy. I spent too long finding that info. Huh? Those gloves are from my brother's secret collection. Are you friends with my brother or something? I helped him. Wait, 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 there's something. I, I want to get you. Just I'll go get it. Wait here. Here, take this. This here's some super secret info I put together. Took some real sweet sweat and work, too. Sweet and work? Sweat and work. I had to survey this place near a hundred times to figure it out, but... You ready for this? Now don't go fading when I tell you. Right around here is a hidden room! So in return, please don't tell anyone that I was captured. It'll be our little secret, okay? Alright, then go ahead and open her up. Later then, I said bye now. Oh. Hey, we meet again. Yeah, sorry, I kind of overheard what happened. It seems one of my guys was giving you a hard time. Sorry. But th that's the stuff he was saying. It was all true. There's a breeze coming from somewhere in this room, I tell you. I can smell it. I figure the information in that chest will be useful to you. I mean, it's just a map. Yeah, so, my thought here... My thought here... Was to just bomb every wall, and I did just... <laughs> I bombed every single one, except the one that I was supposed to bomb. I think maybe at, at this point... I don't know, was this when the audio came back? I was hitting the walls thinking the old... Uh, sound effect thing would work. Okay, audio is coming back now, so... See ya! Here's pass will. I'm silent, am I? Jeez, I hope that wasn't for too long. I'm not sure there's anywhere I can check on the fly, other than to... Uh, 
Oh, you're gonna check. All right. Thanks. May have been like a minute or two. going back to the entrance. Squeeze through. <laughs> Bad news is for a while. I'll fix it otherwise. It was the entire time. What the fuck? I didn't even have the thing muted. It's all right, I'll fix the VOD later. I'll just add some post commentary. did I last save? <laughs> Am I going to be that catastrophic about it? I don't think I've saved at all. Let me see. can't tell if... Hmm. Does that line up? That was... No, it doesn't line up. Hang on, 455. No, it does. Wait. 16. Shit. It doesn't. Hmm. That was 25 minutes ago. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think it's, I think I saved. Ah, it's fine. I'll just dub it later. <laughs> I figured if I didn't save, it would just be easy enough to just backtrack, backtrack through that pretty easily. But, I mean, that's fine. I'll just fix it later. <laughs> you haven't opened your 3DS since because of what you did. Uh, it's 
It's fine. Good old post production. Where is here? Oh. Well, this is extremely useful. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so what does that leave? One more. One more heart piece remains. I just wanted to check out that spot. Get tired, get some rest then. <laughs> I know it make, I make it sound simple, but... Yeah, you know, everything will have respawned as a result. had the reflexes of a book goblin. Well, the ones in, in this game, yeah. I don't know. I find the, the Zalfos to have way more obnoxious reflexes. They just seem to block so easily. So... Rather unfortunate, but okay. I think this is where I saved last, so. They've always been a Peter Lizalfos.
I mean, the Breath of the Wild are not, they're not that bad, except... In other games, it's understandable. Redo this as well. Sort of. Okay, so from here. Notice that this item stops stops the burning. It's not just a, a simple prevention of getting burnt from the volcano. It does stop you from lighting on fire. So dude said there was a bombable wall. Just look at the map, right? I'm surprised, it should be here. Oh no, it's here. Alright, the one wall I didn't bomb. Fake wall. There we go. Turn here. No, we're good. What? Oh, crap. <laughs> I was in reverse. Uh oh. Oh, that works. Stamina. Okay.
I'm going to explore this room a little more. Okay. I guess now I can go back. Oh crap. <laughs> nice jump. that there's a treasure chest room hold up don't think it has anything to do with this room maybe it does let's see what the lava thing in this room. I just realized I can do that. Okay, why did it just stop climbing? That wasn't me. That was just, it abruptly stopped. That is random. That is very random. It's almost like they forgot to put it in somewhere and then just decided, nah, just chuck it here, that's fine. I should go back because I've gone the wrong way.
And then... Right? Okay. Man. <laughs> through these tunnels. Okay, there's the door. I do have a vague memory of this part. I don't like their eyes. What? Since when does Hookshot not grab items? <laughs> what a dumb change. It is tradition that the Hookshot retrieves items for you. I can't believe that. That's... That's some bullshit right there. to force you to use the bug. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, I think the bug is good. It's just... Why not allow both? Por que no las dos? Like, that bug wouldn't be able to pick it up from the lava. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Here. Ah, so busy, so busy, burning the midnight oil again, looking for loot. Why is there comedy music here? <laughs> I don't remember this. Oh, no, wait, I do. Green monster, I can't believe they're following us down here now. Guess I, I have to have some fun. You're on Magma turf now, my friend. You may be scary as long as the way ahead of me is clear. You're fine. This is this is a puzzle. Wow. 
Oh, I wanted you to turn. Probably set in stone to go the other way. Stop it. Go down. Okay, I need to. That is, that is irritating. Why is this annoying? It seems to just go in fixed ways. There's no way to control the direction that he runs in. Every spot seems to be a fixed turn. That's gonna go right, then this is gonna go back. Okay. That. Oh, there you go. No, you got me. Go on, monster. Boil me, bake me, do me your worst. I know those gloves. Ain't those from my brother's secret collection? That's right. What? You know my brother? Ah, oh, you're all green. I thought you were a monster. Hey, don't get all angry. I thought you were one of them. Sorry, guy. Let me give you something to make up for it. Hang up. I'll hold on a sec. Here you go. You know, some monsters seem to be looking for something on those cliffs ahead of us. You heading that way too? You take care out there. Don't want to see you getting skewered or nothing. Okay, going back to the boss. A key. Hey. Oh! Well, alright then. Wait, does, does, does that mean I'm done with heart pieces? I think that's the last one. Well, there's this boss, and then there's one more dungeon after this, so I think that's it, yeah. That's a first. 
Well, I mean, okay, in a while, there were games that I was able to get all the heart pieces with zero struggle. But I mean, lately, there's been one that's been tough to get every time. I think this is the first time it's gone perfectly smooth. Sky Keep doesn't give you a container, doesn't it? No, but Leviathan does, doesn't it? Or oh, Thunderhead, whatever it's called. Hang on, what's that boss? Unless I'm wrong. Well, does that mean that I have four four pieces left? Hmm, maybe. Alright, we'll roll with it. I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. That's why I died. But, see, that's bull. It should let me run before the detonation, but it makes me wait for the detonation. In reality, you'd be running way before the detonation happens. No. Why is that even there? It's not realistic to get it. Here for the hearts. I know this is a bit premature. Choose a path you believe in forward more wisely. What was it? It's like... In the eyes of the awake one. Hey! Or oh, the sleeping one. It doesn't matter if I get it wrong. But 
There we go. Oh my god, motion controls. Okay, so just... No, that's totally fair. Yep, both of them open up with that attack. Give the player a challenge. Put two things at once. Surprisingly fluid and smooth. Aside from that initial attack, man, that that went pretty well. Thing, yeah. Not a good one. The curse bat. all my arrows. Okay, that'll do. Okay, why not? Why did I come up here then?
Oh, that might be the reason that's there. That's, that's it. Alright. Bring light to each statue in accordance of the number of rings possesses, from least to most. Okay, one, two. The last one is there. Okay. Gonna say how's that not accepted? And lost. Is this thing gonna be free now? Oh, it is because the gate. Yep. Take that risk. <laughs> Up. All right. I mean, this dungeon I think went smoothly. Aside from the, you know. Vod being silent at the start, but I'll fix that. It's fine. In fact, if you're watching this later, it's already fixed. Don't even worry about it. Won't be able to tell the difference. Non-existent problem. The tree falls down in the wood and no one's around to witness it. Did it really fall over? Never even happened, exactly. <laughs> probably do that.
But I like the ones that are shaped like something. Then I know what shape I'm trying to make. I'm gonna have a drink. <laughs> Whilst it's loading. What boss are you? <laughs> oh, Garahim. Mm. Oh, hello there, Link. I see you're still among the living. Fancy meeting you here. We see him bump into each other. Oh, we seem to bump into each other time and time again. Oh, it's no coincidence, though, is it? You and I are bound by a thread of fate. <laughs> Look at these old drawings. Until I found these, I was upset about that little stunt the goddess's guard dog pulled at the gate of time. What was that twig's name again? Impa? Well, never mind that, because these drawings suggest the existence of a second gate of time. This news has just filled my heart with rainbows. I've been a busy boy searching here and there and everywhere for another gate of time. And yet, I couldn't even find a single clue. Since you know I can be honest with you, I'll admit I got a little sulky. It was frowns all around. Hmm. The thought of never getting my hands on that darling young girl again was well more than I could bear. But then, then I found this place. The prospect of a second gate of time has made me positively giggly. And, oh, that girl, your adorable friend, she'll be instrumental in bringing about the revival of my master. And though I feared she was now quite beyond my reach, I despair no longer. But before we talk any further on that subject, there's still the outstanding matter of your punishment, Link. Do you remember what I told you the next time we meet, met? I'd make your ears bleed from the sound of your own screams? Well, I've been thinking perhaps corporal punishment is a touch harsh. I might be willing to forgive and forget if you'll strike a deal. All I ask is that you tell me where I can find the other gates of time. That's not too much to ask, is it? Oh, and don't you play coy with me. I know that you know. So why not let me in on the fun? Such behavior. A mischievous boy like you needs to be dealt with firmly. I must warn you, I won't go easy on you this time. Yes. Less clothing. Lovely, aren't they? You'll find the supple skin of my arms tougher than any armor. Doesn't their shape just leave you breathless? Such beauty. Okay, uh, chat. I mean, if you've seen the Tears of the Kingdom thing, isn't this what happens to Link's arms? It looks pretty similar. <laughs> Namely, Mercy. Come to me, you and I were bound by that thread of fate, destined to fight. So come close, Link. Meet me in battle, and the thread of fate that binds us will be soaked with crimson with your blood. It looks kind of similar. I mean, you look at what's going on with his arm, it's kind of similar. Oh, right, that's the clue. No? Oh, 
I forget what the tell is for this. I mean, there might be a resurgence of the uh, Dark Link, you never know. But I mean, whatever happens to him, it, it does something. It's just the pattern that I'm seeing on the arms looks pretty similar. understood how this fight works. I still don't. But you know, whatever, it's working. Oh, right. I'm supposed to... I'll piss off. What is this? Is this... Is this different? I don't remember it being this hard. Come on, I did the thing. Sorry, I'm still alive. back quick enough. Still alive. I'll piss off.
Did I get it? <laughs> Enough of this foolishness. I am Giriham, Demon Lord. It shouldn't matter how powerful your sword is. You are still nothing, not just a human, a human child, and yet you prevail. You filthy scamp. You have awakened a wrath that will burn for eons. I swear to you, whatever it takes, I will drag you into an eternity of torment. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, so if I don't get a heart for the next dungeon, then I guess I have four heart pieces remaining. The flames of Din have been imbued your blade with a sacred white light that demons revile. Master, now that it has been tempered by the last of the sacred flames, your blade has finally revealed its true form, the Master Sword. With this sword's great power, you can awaken the gate of time within the sealed temple. I recommend you make your way to this location. Okay, I'm going to do a very short intermission. I'm going to cut it here because it gives me less to export later. It's just to correct a mistake that may or may not have happened. So it's just making my life easier. But a dungeon was done in the VOD, so that's good enough. So YouTube, thanks for tuning in and for putting up with whatever nonsense happened in the first 20 minutes or so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll see you next time.